the master of the precious. But if we was master, then we could help ourselves. Yes, and still keep promises. He's a wretched creature, utterly obsessed with the ring, but he does have the best lines. Where is it? Where is it, my precious? My precious. It's ours, it is. And we want it. And just as Frodo begins to see what the ring has done to Gollum, so we begin to fear what it will do to Frodo. Tolkien only wrote The Lord of the Rings because his publisher asked for a sequel to The Hobbit. What a sequel! But at first they thought they had a flop on their hands. Indeed, they anticipated that they'd make a loss on it and only reluctantly published the three books, one after another, in the mid-50s. Lucky for us, they took the risk. The scale of The Lord of the Rings is unbelievable. I'm barely scratching the surface. There's so much in this book, there's no way on earth that I can cover it all here. In fact, it's hard to believe that it all came from the mind of just one person. Like so many things, we tend to take these sorts of books for granted today. But ancient skills have a habit of disappearing. And in the brave new world of the 1930s, when Tolkien was writing it, our myth-making traditions had all but dried up. It has been argued that our mythological past was cut off by the brutality of the Norman conquest. But the pen is mightier than the sword, they say. So Tolkien, who studied the development of languages and became a professor at Oxford, set out to reconnect us to the spirit of ancient Britain and its myths. And to support this, he even invented new languages for the people of Middle-earth. What Tolkien did was bring the magic back to our literature. Tolkien looked to Northern Europe for his inspiration. Frodi was an old Norse king. Gandalf means sorcerer in ancient Norse. The Scandinavian grandfather of all our myths is Beowulf, the story of a Norse warrior who is mortally wounded, defeating the monstrous Grendel and a dragon. There's a lot of Beowulf in The Lord of the Rings, not least what Tolkien considered to be one of the main themes. It's not the wages of sin that is death, rather the wages of heroism is death. Tolkien wasn't interested.